We are back. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Generation 9 Monotype. As you see right here, we are doing a mono flying team. And as you see from my opposing opponent, they are playing with mono electric. Sure, mono electric was not very scary with without Tapu Koko, without the likes of that. But it seems like this is a pretty scary team to start off with. What I'm going to do now is... I'm gonna go for start. I'm gonna go get the sturdy uh, thing. They will probably go for a substitute, like I thought. We do stealth rock, and I'm gonna spike up once. It will discharge. Hopefully, there's no paralysis. All right, I'm gonna spike, and we get a second spike. There's no potential way of having rapid spin, so that's really good. We get discharge, and I think that's it. So the only real threat now is, you know, oh, it has pressure. I thought it had static, so that's fine. So I'm just going to Dragon Dance on the Dragonite. Let's see. No paralysis. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to just go Extreme Speed for the Substitute to Fade. I got that one. No paralysis. Ooh, okay. It's time to spam Outrage. One. That's going to kill the Zapdos. So whatever comes in is going to get a really nasty wake up call. They got more Petco on the team. Let's see. I'm outraged again. If they go fake out, okay. There's the hanger switch. And we are now faster than anything. They will try to protect, and we do earthquake. So that's very good that they're trying to stall out the turns. But it seems like we're getting a Dragonite sweep on the field. So look at that. We are hazard stacking, and now we're winning. So if they go Rotom Blosh. Oh, Raging Bolt. So I'm guessing they will go Thunderclap. I'm gonna go for Raging Extreme Speed. Let's see if they go Thunderclap. Bingo! So I'm gonna go for another one again, just in case they wanna get extra special, which they do not. So now, if they do a three turn Outrage, then that's none of my problems. So got the Run and Wash, I'm gonna go Outrage, and now that's probably gonna finish up the rest of their team, unless they wanna bring in Palmont. They bring in Palmont, yeah. If it is not Scarf, it is GG's. Yes, sir! There it is, and I think, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> they got the Garvantula down there, and I'm gonna go extreme speed, and that knocks out the Garvantula. And now it's a perfect sweep, and why Skarmory is such a good offensive threat. I thought about bringing Corviknight, but, you know, lead Skarmory to Dragonite setup, or let Enamorous come in, or let Landorus Therian come in, not Therian, Enamorous Karnik come in. It is so powerful with this you know, type of team. This Skarmory leaves hazards, and the Pokemon can sweep. So let's move on to the next game and see if we can move, you know, play some better mods. Because Dragonite did a lot of work on this team. We'll be right back. Yeah, so you see right here, we're back with another the matchup. And it seems like we have Tinkaton, we have Wismacott, they have Clefable. The Clefable faded. So we're here, and it seems like they have the Wismacott. This is some crazy tech they're going to play around with. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to Skarmory. Let's see, they go Grimstarl, which I do not care. Unless they go for a Prankster um, Parting Shot, which is not the best move for them. A reflect. So, they have seven turns left. I'm just going to spike up one, two, as they... So, there it is. So, we have spikes up, and there's no way they can take me down with that. And I'm just based around defense, so that's not going to be your best idea. Got that, and they are heavy duty boots, so they're gonna switch a route on the item. So I'm gonna go to my own enamorous as they do taunt. Perfect. So they do have that, and now I'm just gonna moonblast. They will probably switch a route. Or they go leech sea, which I'm not surprised if they do or do not. But there's no try, they say. There's prankster leech sea, like I thought, and we do get a special attack drop. Nope, we do not. Let's see, and from the nice magic trick, I'm going to go for heavy. No, I can't do that. Not yet. Uh, I could just go with Moltres and just see what it can mess around and find out with. I got the U-turn, which is perfectly fine. If they go Tinkaton, that's okay with me. The Moltres is normally supposed to be for a sack. So most of their mons are slow. If they go Iron Valiant, then they completely understand why you went over to Iron Valiant. But you do go Primarina. So I do get your decision making on that. I'm gonna go agility. In case you want to go for a draining kiss or a liquid voice hyper voice and see. 
But I'm not to be surprised if you just go for that. Let's see. Moonblast. Okay, that's a perfect sacrifice that I love to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go Skarmory on the field. Get one more spike up. And then let's see what type of shenanigans we can pull. I'm going to spike. And there's a Psychic Noise. So that means it is Liquid Voice. So what I'm going to do now is since I have gotten my stats up and everything. I'm going to Body Press. Won't do much damage, but it will definitely knock out the scar. As you see, we have hazard stacked our way into victory. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Gyarados. Let's see. That they have Moonblast and all that. They have Liquid Voice. So I'm gonna go Dragon Dance once. They're gonna be all whatever about it. There's a special attack drop, but we are lefties. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Dragon Dance again. And whatever comes in, comes in. And they'll bring in the unholy hell of what we could try to do. So, let's see. They're going to go for another Moonblast, which is going to hurt them a little bit. They could have went to Liquid Voice and knock it out. But we do knock out the Primarina. But look at this. This is why flying is the best type. It's not the best type in, you know, Generation 8. But also in Gen 9, it's also predominantly dominant. As you see, we are facing off against Clefable. I'm going to taunt it just in case they just go for Moonblast. No, not Moonblast. But they go with Luring Voice. They're going to go Dragon Dance. I'm not wor I'm going to worry about Stealth Rocks more than I could worry about Dragon Dancing. Because so I'm not being greedy on Clef. You are going to be unaware. Let me see. Kind of. Yeah, we're not going to Dragon Dance. You are a threat. And I'm not going to go and let you wish up or get soft boiled or whatever. So we have that, and so we're going to go for, they're probably going to go Wismacott for shenanigans like this. They are heavy duty boots, they are going to go for a Leech Seed or whatever attack. They go Leech Seed like I thought. So I get a lot of attack damage off, let's see, and we get a little bit of Leech Seed chip. So, what do I want to do? Most of their mons are now weak to Enamorous, which I'm fine with, which I could definitely get another Waterfall off to knock out the Wismacott. But, let's see, they get Giga Drain, which I'm fine with, and they get a little bit of chip damage off. Now they're in range of Dragonite Extreme Speed, which I'm fine with. I just go do this. If they want to go to Tinkaton, I'm okay with that. So, now they're going to go Iron Valiant, which is probably the most perplexing move. Or they want to go to Grimmsnarl, just for the, you know, little screen support. Let's see, you got that, and the spikes. I'm going to go with Dragon Dance once, as you do go Reflect. I'm going to say how Brent does it. Do it again. You know, how King Skill does it. They do go for a Spirit Break, which I'm fine with. As I do go for the Extreme Speed. Get a more damage off. You go for another Spirit Break to knock me out. But you realize what you have messed up on. Let's see. I'm going to let my uh, Lando and Landorus Incarnate do the damage. I'm going to go Earth Power. You will go for a Parting Shot. I know you will go for a Parting Shot. Either that, or you want to go for a... No, oh, you just want to go for Spirit Break. I'm guessing I understand why you want to do that. Knowing that the fact about it, but... Hmm. I'm going to go for a Psychic. If they don't... Spirit Break. Okay, I do understand why you want to go Spirit Break, but why? So they go Tinkaton, Stealth Rock, and then the Spikes Chip. I'm guessing you're going to go for Gigaton Hammer, but we do knock you out with the Earth Power. And that's the sheer breaking power of flying types. You know, this is a sheer power of Skarm. Let it spike up and let your other threats come in. And Landra's Incarnate is the main definition of a threat. It broke through and cleaned up the rest of the game. Sure, it should have done another move like Rock Slide, but Nasty Plot is even more disgusting than what I thought. Let's move on to... Uh, our next game and see from there and how much more destruction destruction we could do alrighty poison and more poison and as you see we have a we have no defoggers which is pretty funny so this is this good luck have fun good luck have fun they say it's only our way of respect and then they turn on timer but as you see they go to lazzle knowing that we have a way. They have substitute, which I don't care about. So now we're potentially at, let's say, three spikes. You no, know, two spikes. You have no burn. That's perfect. And I just get a cut stop spike up. There you go. Flamethrower. Knock out the Skarm. 
And now we go Dragonite on the team. As you see, Skarm is the very essential threat that we have. They go Toxic on Dragonite, trying to break multi-scale. I don't care about that. I'm Dragon Dancing. I'm going to go for Extreme Speed to knock out your sub. If you do want to go Poison Move, then that's fine. Disable, that's fine with me, because I am now faster than your Salazzle. Earthquake can knock out the rest of your team. And and slash or outrage so i'm happy about that so you do go to your amoongus so that has heavy duty boots and now you realize that uh oh i have a way powerful dragonite with adamant nature and all that and we do knock out your amoongus so that's one of your pokemon down so your next pokemon is going to be toxic picks and you will go for a potential bankful bunker no you do not you do want to go for that uh, recover, which I do respect. As you do for Bainful Bunker, I'm going to Dragon Dance up. You know what? I'm an Earthquake. I am going to expect a Bainful Bunker, but I'm not going to play like an idiot. Like, oh, hardy, har, har. I decide to go for an easy Dragon Dance sweep and then just Earthquake you. But no, we do not knock it out, which I'm happy about. We do knock it out. We do almost knock it out, but we do get a Toxic Chip. And let the Landorus start cleaning up this team. Earth Power will start up on the team. And we're starting to clean up the rest of the game. None of their Pokemon are faster than Landorus. Except for Salazzle. As you see, Sloking Galar is getting Spike's Chip. We do get an Earth Power. And that's going to do the kill. As they do go Salazzle, I am not surprised at what they're trying to do. I might just go Moltres. It's just because saying, you know, it's whatever. They go Disable, trying to disable my Earth Power. I'm going to go Hurricane. As you do go Toxic, I don't mind it. There you go. There's one. And that's pretty much going to be that. If you do go Ogie Dogi, there it is. There's the forfeit right there. And that's pretty good that we got another team down on that. So, we're going to move on. Hopefully, you know, we can get another team and, yeah, I can win against this. You know, hopefully we get a win, but... It is what it is, because flying is really dominant if you hazard stack, which is pretty funny. Not gonna lie to you. So we'll be right back with the last game. Alright, it seems like we're here, and they have model steel. So let's see how we're gonna clean up the rest of this team. Let's hazard stack. And they have a potential defogger in Scizor. And they have a rocker in... Let me see. I don't think they removed defog. Yeah, I think they removed defog on Napoleon. So they will lead Empoleon. I'm not surprised on Empoleon. But if they do go Goldengo, then they will probably trick. They probably do know the strategy that we're planning on doing in Hazard Stack Offense. But if they do not, then that's their loss. Because that's what we're going to do. Skarm is such a body press spam type Pokemon that I could really do be surprised with what we can do. Let's see what we can try to do. Start up timer. And we'll be right there. We'll start thinking up the decisions. You know, type of deal. But besides that, I'm here to say, you know, make sure you like and subscribe for all the potential matchups we've been, you know, getting out. As you see, we are dealing with a, you know, Goldengo. We go for a sturdy. Let's see. Is it paralysis or are we going to get unlucky? No, we do not, fortunately. So I'm going to go for a Custap Spike. If they go heat ran, yo, that is wild. So I'm gonna go body press, get some damage in the heat ran, knowing that they will go hit us up. He they go stealth rock on their own, pretty smart. We go back to Goldengo, knowing that we have to do it net, and we spike up again. They will go for a sh shadow ball, which I'm fine with, as we finally start going doing some work with Moltres. Moltres is a very good threat. We're going to agility up. They go in Polion, knowing the spikes damage is going to hurt it. We do agility. And now I'm just going to nasty plot. I know it's being greedy, but let's see what the Empoleon can do. And there it is. Berserk coming up. And the only way we get counted out is with Scizor. 1-2. Get the heat red get knocked out. The only way we lose is with Scizor. They do Scizor. Boom, boom. We do not lose, but I know Scizor will go Bullet Punch. Yep, it will do that and knock us out. So it seems like we finally got a good player going along right here. So I'm going to go, I'm gonna go Gyarados. I have to do Intimidate the Scizor. I'm going to Dragon Dance up as they do go a Chalodon. 
I'm fine with that. They are either going to be um, Power Herb or going to be an electric move. I'm going to go Earthquake in case they want to go for that. Let's see. They do have a defense boost. They go Iron Defense. So this is a pretty scary ID, ID Body Press set. We're fortunate we're going to knock out the, you know, Chalodon before things get bad. I say go, go back to Goldengo. When my best prediction is they are Choice Scarf, but, you know, I'm going to test it out before we do anything. They are Choice Scarf, but we do have special defense enough to knock out the the entire Goldengo, which is pretty funny. If they do go Scizor, Spikes, and Stealth Rock gets hit, and I'm a Waterfall, they will have enough to knock me out with the Bullet Punch, which I'm happy about. So what I'm going to do now is, as I am Dragonite and I do have a lot of bulk, I'm going to go Dragon Dance on the Scizor. They want to swap out again as their loss. As you see, we do DD. And whatever comes in, they will probably Bullet Punch us again to get a lot more damage. They are Choice Band and they are Bullet Punch. So they do knock us out, they do not. So the big scary part is, is Metagross a Bullet Punch Sweeper? That's a big thing. If we do win with Metagross, if Metagross is that, and we they forfeit. So, I'm going to say right here, we're going to end it all. We had a lot of fun. Flying Hazard Stack was so much fun. I love how Skarm had did a lot of work. Skarm is the, probably the MVP, but the other two has to be either Dragonite and Landorus. But look at that. Mono Flying, Landorus cleaning up the rest of the game. Because if the likes of, say, Metagross did not have Bullet Punch and Dragonite gets knocked out by a potential lacking Ice Beam, I would say I'll knock out the rest of the team with Landorus, which I'm happy about. So, y'all have a nice one. Y'all stay safe. And Bandido out! Yes, sir!